my lovelies and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a what are you eating in a day during lockdown. So without me rambling on, let's jump into the video. So I start my morning the way I do, whether I'm working or not working, and that includes morning coffee. For this I just take some instant coffee beans, for this time I chose the Kenko ones, Americano. I always just change it up from time to time. I just take one scoop and I pop it in my little mug, and then I'll add some water. And then I take some oat milk, this is the barista blend. This one I change it quite often as well. I just pop this, I'm going to pop this into my milk frother just to make it all nice and creamy and make myself a nice latte for the morning. I always like to add some flavour drops instead of sugar, so these are the My Protein flavour drops in vanilla. I only add two drops, you don't really need a lot, they're very strong. As you can see, I get a lovely frothy latte with a little bit of milk foam. Excuse the latte art, not a pro. I'll take this and sit outside in the sun or sit down and have my coffee. Next step is breakfast and for this we're going to have some high protein pancakes. So for this you just need some baking powder, bicarbonate soda, some quick porridge oats, any one that takes your fancy, a whole banana, one medium egg, some one cow spray and some protein. This is the My Protein Impact Way in cookies and cream and then 50 ml of any milk. This was just the oat milk I used this morning. What we're going to do, we're going to pop this all this together and then pop it in the blender to make some nice fluffy pancakes. So what I do first is add one scoop of the impact protein from my protein in the flavour cookies and cream. You can use whatever flavour protein that you like, this is just the one I'm absolutely loving at the moment. So like I said, I just take one scoop of that which normally is about 30 grams which equates to 24 grams of protein. So this is going to be our main protein source. Next we're going to take one medium banana and this will just make a really nice batter. take one whole egg, it can be a medium or a large egg, just whichever you have to hand. I'm going to add that to the mixture and then give it a nice blend. Once that's all blended we're going to add the oats. I usually add this at this stage just because the egg makes the mixture quite runny so now we're going to make it into a bit of a thicker batter by adding the oats. We're also going to add half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of the bicarbonate soda. I find the combination of the bicarbonate and the baking powder makes the pancake super fluffy. We're also going to add 50 ml of the oatmeal just to make it a nice smooth batter. This particular morning with making the batter it was a little bit runnier than I would like so I added a few more scoops of oats and the amount of oats you'll add it completely depends on the size of the egg and it will vary from day to day so just add the oats until you get the desired consistency. This was the consistency of the batter that I went with and this is what I find tends to make the mess pancakes. Next we're going to put the pan onto a medium heat and spray a couple of sprays of our fry light or whichever oil or substitute you prefer. Next we're going to add the mixture. I tend to do my pancakes in batches of two because I find they get a little cramped in the pan and then you have to make them a bit smaller. This is the perfect breakfast pancake size. We're going to leave these pancakes on a medium to low heat until you can see those little bubbles forming. That's when the pancakes need to be flipped. I continue to cook the pancakes for another minute to two minutes on the other side just until they're cooked through. 
Once the pancakes are cooked through, I tend to put them onto a piece of kitchen towel. I find this te little trick tends to stop the pancakes from steaming and getting soggy whilst waiting for the next batch to cook. Once your pancakes are ready, you can top them with anything that you prefer. Today I chose to have a handful of cut up strawberries and then I put some Biscoff spread into the microwave to make it nice and melted. Some days I choose to have peanut butter or some days uh, maple syrup, you just choose whichever you fancy on the day. And there we go, protein pancakes and some fruit. Next we have lunch. Today I was going to have garlic mushrooms on a bagel with an egg. So I'm going to take a sesame bagel, the brand of my favourite, some butter mushrooms, some seasonings. I chose pink Himalayan salt and then some southern fried chicken seasoning. For the garlic element I choose this garlic infused fry light which makes them taste super garlicky and yummy. I'm always going to have one medium egg. I'm going to start by preparing the mushrooms by giving them a good wash in some water and then drying them off to remove any of the excess dirt and then I'm going to chop them up into little pieces and then get them ready for frying. I put a medium pan onto a medium heat and then spray the fry light with garlic and let the pan get nice and warm. Then we're going to add the chopped mushrooms into the pan and let them start to cook. Then we're going to add our seasoning, so we're going to add the pink Himalayan salt and make sure you season to your taste. Next I taste the southern fried chicken seasoning, which is my personal favourite, but add whichever seasonings that you like. I'm going to make sure to fully coat the mushrooms and then let them cook through evenly. This is my favourite type of bagel, this is the New York Bakery and this is the sesame bagel. mushrooms when they're almost done as you can see they've got a lovely golden brown colour. What we're going to do to finish the mushrooms off is to add a little teaspoon of butter and the mushrooms just absorb the butter and go nice and soft. Once the bagel's toasted and the mushrooms are cooked we're going to pop those on top and get on with the egg. mushrooms on a toasted bagel with a beautiful runny egg. Next up, dinner time. I'm going to have a high protein spaghetti bolognese. For this we're going to need the same garlic oil, some salt, some barbecue seasoning, chopped garlic, fusely pasta, any sort of pasta sauce that you wish, some closed button mushrooms and then some beef mince. This is the 12% fat I normally get the 5% fat, but this is the only one I could get my hands on. And then some crusty bread. So we're going to start by preparing the mushrooms the same we did earlier, and then pop them into a saucepan on a medium heat. Try not to spill them all over the surface like I did this time, but we save them. Next thing we're going to do is spray a larger pan with the garlic oil, and then we're going to add the lean beef mince. All I've done here is cooked the mince through and then added the sauce and the mushrooms and allowed it to simmer. Next we're going to cook the pasta as per the instructions. So I always just eyeball the amount of pasta, I'm not counting any calories or anything like that at the moment, so we're just going to eyeball it. Another trick I like to do with my bolognese is I like to add some light soy sauce just to add an extra salty taste to the bolognese sauce. protein beef bolognese with some crusty bread and some pasta. The 
this did make a lot more than the two portions that you see and we had that for leftovers with some other pasta or rice. So that concludes my what I eat in a day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.